here at the science convention. Unfortunately, they've locked themselves out of their car and can't figure out how to get in. So I'm going to have to go help them. And while I'm gone, let's see, have we got anybody here that can come up? Professor, where's my professor? Where is Professor Pavarotti? Is he late? Yes. Professor Pavarotti, where are you? Oh, here he comes now. All right. Would you mind would you mind taking over for just a few minutes while I go try to help the professors that have locked themselves out of their car? Yeah, you know, I, I'm sorry, but uh, Are you on? Just one second. All right, all right, I think I'm good. I think all right, I will be right back. I, I do I do have a question for you guys. How, how did you get in here? Is this not a private lab? I mean I thought we were supposed to have I didn't realize I thought the the college convention was next what? You guys aren't even college students. That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, that's so strange to get in here. Let me tell you what. Did he introduce me? My name is Professor Pavarotti. You know what my favorite activity is? Singing. Yes, whoever said that was very good. Do you actually know what Pavarotti stands for? Pavarotti means I'm the best singer in the world. You can look it up. That's actually what it means in Italian. Okay? So, what we're going to do tonight... I. Since uh, the other professors and one of them locked their keys in their car, let's sing a few songs and then we'll see if the professors show up. I'm not sure if they will or not, okay? So, <clears throat> everybody, once you put your hands up, hands up. I'm a medium sized frog and God loves me. I'm a medium sized frog and God loves me. I'm a medium sized frog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. I'm a little bitty frog and God loves me. I'm a little bitty frog and God loves me. I'm a little bitty frog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. Well, I'm a big old frog and God loves me. I'm a big old frog and God loves me. I'm a big old frog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. I'm a medium sized frog and God loves me. I'm a little bitty and God loves me. I'm a big old frog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. Oh, I don't know what happened right there. Oof. All right. All right. Oof. All right. We ready for another song? Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide. Deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Mm, and wide, mm, and wide, there's a fountain flowing mm, and wide. Mm, and wide, mm, and wide, there's a fountain flowing mm, and wide. Deep and mm, deep and mm, there's a fountain flowing deep and mm, deep and mm, Deep and mm, there's a fountain flowing deep and mm, mm, and mm, mm, and mm, there's a fountain flowing mm, and mm, mm, and mm, mm, and mm, there's a fountain flowing mm, and mm, deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Okay, look guys, I'm really sorry about that because it just slipped my mind. I was just thinking about other things. I just had no idea what those words there for a second. All right. Since it seems like we have a lot of tired people, I want all the kids to stand up. Please stand up. Please, 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 please stand up. If you're sitting down, then you better not be, Okay. You better not be. I see you right there. Stand up, Kate. Stand up. Okay? Are y'all not standing up? Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right arm. Father Abraham had many sons, 
And many sons had father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn around. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn around, nod your head. I think I did that out of work. Abraham had many sons, and many sons said, Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and no one's doing this. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head, turn around, sit down. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me just, I just need to take a break for a second. Oh. You know what, everybody, everybody stand back up, stand back up, stand back up. No, come on, come on guys, just stand back up. One time, one more time, one more time, stand back up. Is no one gonna stand up? Please, stand up, 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 stand up. Actually, you know what, you know what, just, just sit back, just sit back down, just sit back down. Sit back down. Well, we're going to stand up. We're going to stand up and we're... All right. Okay, well, let me just tell you a story. There was a ritual king. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up the hill again and marched them down again. When you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Apparently, everybody's down the whole time. Does no one know how to get up and down? Come on. I appreciate y'all. Come on. Y'all, this side is going to pick it up. This side's killing you. Come on. All right, we're going to do it a little faster this time, okay? Are y'all ready? All right, hey, this is going to be the last song. I, I, I know you've enjoyed singing. I know you love standing up and sitting down. I, I, I clearly see that, okay? But at some point, I have to go find Professor Proton, Professor Plasma, and all those guys. I, we got to get some experiments done. I mean, I heard Professor Planet's got an experiment planned for tonight. So at some point, we have to go get that ready. So after this song, okay, we're going to sing it faster through one more time, and then we're going to be done, okay? Can everybody do it just one time really good for me? One time. That's a good attitude right there. Thank you. Whew. There was a ritual king. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up the hill again and marched them down again. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Okay. Are y'all going to be here all week? Are y'all going to be here all week? Yeah. All right. If I come back in here and y'all are in here, I want you to participate a little bit more, okay? You ready for this? Professor Pavarotti, how did they do? Well, okay. They did okay. They were okay, all right? But they looked a little tired tonight, so maybe we can... Maybe from the carnival yesterday, I, perhaps by tomorrow, they will be livened up and full of energy, so, right? Full of energy right now. Let me hear your energy. <laughs> Woo! Let me hear your energy. That's pretty energetic. All right. Now, as I said... It is time to start the That's Incredible Science Convention, and luckily, all four of our scientists have arrived. Now, as I said, these are four of the most unusual minds that have ever been in the field of science. So let me introduce them now. Please come forward right over here, Professor Planet. Here he comes. <laughs> Professor, Professor Planet, you brought your fan club, apparently. <laughs> And now, Professor Proton, where are you? Professor Proton, come on up. We have Professor Puddle. Where is Professor Puddle? Here he comes. Professor Puddle, looking good. 
And of course, Professor Petrify is coming in. Uh, uh, Professor Petrify, your hair looks like normal. Oh, just kidding. All right. Welcome, welcome. All right, we are going to start by hearing from each one of these guys about their area of science. We're going to start with Professor Planet over here. Hello, hello, I'm Professor Planet. I'm the world's most renowned expert in the scientific field of astronomy. I believe astronomy is the most innovative area of science. Astronomy, well that is very interesting, Professor Planet. So tell us, why do you think that astronomy is the most incredible thing in the universe? Astronomy is the scientific study of the universe as a whole and of objects that exist naturally in space. Well, that's incredible, but could you say that in a little bit simpler terms for those of us who do not have the intelligence of a rocket scientist? Sure, I'm looking at stuff in outer space. No, oh, that's better. Well, you know what that is? That's incredible. Yes, it is. There are so many things on the space that you can't see with just your eyes. There's constellations, comets, stars, in my favor, planets. Well, do you know what that is? That's incredible. As a matter of fact, I've been working on a new space telescope that will allow us to see further into space than ever before. Our eyes will be open to new wonders of the universe. I plan to demonstrate my new telescope in the science. So he's going to demonstrate his new telescope this week. That is going to be very exciting. We're looking forward to that. Our next unusual scientific mind is Professor Proton. Welcome. Thank you, Tom. I believe your accent is one of the most incredible things I've ever heard. That is correct, and I am from southern Germany, so it's life to change. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about chemistry and why you think it's so incredible? And would you mind breaking that down on simpler terms for those of us who, um, you know, may be a little chemically off balanced? Well, I'm cool. We basically mix things up and see what happens. Ah, oh, mix things together and see what happens. Well, that's incredible. Yes, it is. Improving their lives. Well, that's incredible. How would you do that? Well, as a matter of fact, I've been working on a new chemical formula that would allow us to increase the world's food supply so that no one is ever hungry again. I plan to unveil my secret formula at the science convention this week. That is going to be incredible. I can't wait to hear about that. Our next professor here is Professor Puddle. Professor Puddle, welcome. Again, an impressive um, uh, accent that you've got going on there. Well, welcome. So meteorology, can you tell us a little bit about what that is and why you think it's so incredible? Well, that's incredible, but could you say that in simpler terms for those of us whose thoughts may be a little cloudy? Oh, you know what that is? That's incredible. Yes, it is. So about 50% of the time, what you predict the weather to do will actually happen. You know what that is? That's incredible. Well, you. 
Okay, so we're going to see what he has in store for us on Tuesday night. That's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. Our next scientist, scientific mind, is Professor Petrify. Welcome, Professor Petrify. Oh, you have a fan club, too. Excellent. <laughs> Well, thank you, Professor Petrify. Can you tell us a little about paleontology and why you think it's so exciting and incredible? Tell you why it's so incredible? Try to keep up. I will make no bones about it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Well, that is very incredible, but could you break that down and say it a little bit simpler for those of us who just can't dig it? <laughs> See what I did there? Well, you know what that is? That's incredible. It is. And you know what that is? That's incredible. As a matter of fact, what have you just recently found? Wednesday night. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to that. Um, we want all of you to be here for all four nights because this is definitely going to be exciting with these four volatile scientific minds. It's going to be incredible. All right. You all can may have a seat now if you want to. We're going to give each one of them a chance this week to demonstrate why their area of science and why they think it's so incredible. Of course, I won't be participating since I won the science convention last year with all of the amazing things that I have done in the areas of time travel and computer technology because... Um, Oh. Emmett, um, Emmett, what, what, what are you doing? I'm, we're in the middle of a That's Incredible Science con convention. You were eating a candy bar? Yeah. And so you weren't paying attention and you brought this stuff out? Well... Uh, let me introduce Emmett real quick. I mean, he's not really supposed to be up here, but this is Emmett the Fix-It Man. He's the guy that sort of helps us set everything up for the science convention. Uh, Emmett, this, what is this all about? Why is this, why did you put this here? Well, well because this is a sign about the miracles of Jesus. You know, it's a story from the Bible. After all, you said you wanted to find out the most incredible thing in this universe. But, Emmett, this is a science convention. I mean, what is so incredible about the Bible and the miracles of Jesus? Oh, Professor, the Bible and the stories about Jesus is the most incredible thing in the universe. And I really love the stories about the miracles of Jesus. Did you know that the miracles of Jesus help to prove that he is the Son of God? You know what? There's a verse in the Bible that tells all about it. Would you like to hear it? Well, sure. What does it say? Other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples. They're not written in this book, but these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Well, that is very interesting, Emmett, but I don't understand. I mean, the Bible, are you being logical? Is this, is this hypothetical, or are you just being theoretical about this? I, I don't understand anything. I don't get it. Let's just put it this way. I can help the song go.
interesting and an amazing song. I think I may want to hear more about the Bible and the miracles of Jesus, but right now we're in the middle of a science convention. Now, we're about to start the That's Incredible Science Convention with astronomy. So, Professor Planet, we are ready for you to come up and demonstrate. Are y'all ready for him to demonstrate astronomy? Do you remember what he said it was? Looking out into space and seeing the stars and planets and all that. Come up here and tell us about it and why you think it's so incredible. Guys, I am so excited to introduce my new and advanced space telescope. That is amazing. It'll allow us to see further into space than ever before. You'd be surprised what we can find in the vast reaches of what appears to be empty space. The vast reaches of empty space? That reminds me, I need to check with Daryl Blankenship and see how his head examination went. Anyway, let me demonstrate my new telescope. <laughs> I've hooked up the digital hyperthread wireless assimilator to the monochrome megapixel today. I know those are big words. Uh, but I did that to be able to see what I'm seeing in the telescope. Now let me get this straight. You're going to fix the telescope so that we can all see what you're seeing through the telescope. That's correct. Do you know what that is? That's incredible. Turn the lights off. Okay. We're going to have to turn the lights out for this. Wait. Ooh. Okay. Oh, cool. That is incredible. <laughs> so I think the moon should be coming into view here soon. The moon? Oh, I see it. Amazing. That is incredible. <laughs> you know, I actually think we can take a closer look at the moon's surface right now. Oh. There's all kinds of stuff up there. What? Whoa. Oh, yeah. There goes one of our astronauts right now. There's nothing on there. That, I didn't even know there were any astronauts on the moon right now. <laughs> Lucky thing our telescope was pointed right there. Um, thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's move on into space. Oh. <laughs> Do you see these stars? Does anyone know what this constellation is? Oh, oh. Is it? Oh, y'all are smart. Does anybody want to guess what this group of stars is called? That's correct. It's called the Little Dipper. That's pretty cool. Y'all are really smart. <laughs> Wow. Did y'all know that a constellation is a part of a bigger constellation? So remember the Big Dipper over here? It's actually a part of a bigger constellation called the Bear. So, oh, so it's part of that bigger one? You know why it's called the Bear? That's because a city sort of looks like a bear in the sky. Oh, cool. That's incredible. That is incredible. Let's see what else we can find. Hey, what are you doing with your skit? You know, with my telescope, I think we can also see it. What are y'all doing with your skit? A comet. Oh, oh, I saw one. There are one. Let's see if you can see any more. You see any comets, anybody? No. Oh, that was incredible. You know, guys, I also love the planets in my telescope. Oh, I like planets, too. What planets are we going to look at? Well, there's an orange. So that's Mars, the red planet, because it's red. This is uh, Jupiter. Jupiter. Can we find Jupiter? 
That's the biggest planet. Any other exciting planets? Saturn. Saturn. That's incredible. <laughs> Boy, they're pushing that, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even realize there were all these colors and things in space. There are really, it is incredible. There's really a lot of things that you can see through this telescope. Amazing. Yeah. It's called the Milky Way? Yep. What? Uh, now wait, wait a minute, what, what is the... <laughs> Emmett left his candy bar in front of the telescope. <sighs> Emmett. <sighs> Anyways, that's why I think astronomy is the most incredible thing in the universe. You know, because it's all about the universe. The lights. Wow. Woo. Woo. That was, you know what that was? Dang. That's wow. incredible. Woo. You know, that was pretty incredible. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a miracle when Jesus healed the blind man. It reminds me of the miracle when Jesus healed the blind man? Why's that? You know, what? my new and advanced telescope reminds me of the miracle when Jesus healed the blind man. You know what that is? That's incredible. Um, I'm incredible. Oh. I hate to interrupt this meeting of the mindless, but somebody forgot to send me an invitation to this science convulsion. Okay, this is not a science convulsion. This is a science convention, Mr. Devil. And what are you doing here? Yeah, Mr. Devil, what are you doing here? Of course they want <laughs> Professor Planet. By the way, I heard you got your PhD from the University of Alabama. <laughs> it's you that no one wants. Nobody is interested in outer space or Milky Ways. Did you know astronomy is fascinating, Mr. Devil? I wish I had a rocket with me right now. I'll put you in it and send you directly to the sun. That would be fine with me. I love the heat. The hotter, the better. <laughs> Mr. Devil, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to leave. This is our Vacation Bible School. That's Incredible Science Convention, and there is nothing incredible about you. Ridiculous. I am the most incredible thing in the universe, and there's no way you're getting rid of me. I think, if y'all remember, we have a way that we usually get rid of Mr. Devil. If you could wind up your booster, and sing with me. Booster, booster, be a booster. Don't be grouchy like a rooster. Booster, booster, be a booster. Boost our Bible school. Boost! Whew. Thank goodness we got rid of him. So, uh. what were you saying about Jesus healing a blind man? Well, the finish is story. Jesus put some mud on the blind man's eyes and he told the man in the old washed off. Uh, wait a minute. What? What? Boys and girls, I have an incredible, an incredible idea. Professor Class, did you have time to finish your time zone today? I did. Oh, if so, now this, 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 this is this is incredible idea. Why don't we let all these kids go back in time oh. through the time? Sounds like a great idea. Do y'all want to go through the time tunnel? Yeah. All right. 
Well, all I need to do is mix up a special batch of my time tunnel fuel that I call Professor Plasma's Pulsar Petroleum. And I can do that very quickly. So here's what we're going to do. Why don't the scientists that aren't doing anything head on out? But y'all may stay here to lead the kids in a second. Yeah, you can have a seat, though. The kids and I will mix up the petroleum, and then we'll go back in time. We will see the miracle of Jesus, and then we will go to the science lab and see the big blue brain, the computer that I have recently invented. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right, let's do that. Let me mix up this formula. Let me see if I've got all the ingredients here. I think I do. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So this is the fuel that, that fuels the time machine. We're going to start with my oscillation oil, a very important ingredient. And then we're going to add in... No, you have to be very, yeah, I know I almost got in trouble in the time machine this morning, didn't I? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to add too much of this, but this is called my um, radioactive red. Do you know why I call it that? Oh, y'all are smart. All right. I know this morning we had some trouble. What, I, I need a little more than that. Are you sure? I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen. It, it did this morning, didn't it? All right, and now, listen, shh, don't tell anybody about the secret ingredient that I've got here, antimatter seltzer, okay? Now, I'm going to pour it in, and when it starts to bubble, it'll be ready to go. So what I'm going to need the two of y'all to do is to take it to the time machine, and then I will dismiss the kids to follow them group by group. So watch it and see if it's ready to bubble. Is it, uh, is it bubbling? Then it's probably ready. Okay, let's. You take that with you, and I'm going to let them go, and I'm going to let the youngest group, the two-year-olds and down, follow them back through the time tunnel. All right, head that way.